How, how, how do you like made all this voice and get into the whole scene in general? So as a human connection, so yeah. Yeah. one voice. Yeah. Uh, I first met like fuck. I seen him around. So I first seen him fuck back in the day. That was like mm. the support act on a um, rap report gig. And now the first dudes up, but fuck me, dead. They killed me. I know, I know, I was so excited. They Bro. fucking killed it. This was a, this was a good fucking Bro. three, four years ago. Yeah. Fucking yeah, hell, man. Is like, yeah. I seen them, I seen them fucking do their thing. I was like, fuck, these cunts are gonna do some damage. Fucking fast forward another three years and they're smashing it. And we done, we done big sound together. And we was like the, it was us. Kwame was there, so it was me, Kwame, fucking Trick One. Fuck, there would have been other people. Like they, they're the only ones that I remember. We yeah. were like the Sydney constituent, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went to Brizzy, and we were like the Sydney boys. Hold on, sorry. What year was this? Like when you were here? This is big sound, fucking two years ago. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah. Like, okay. What do we mean now? 2020? What do we mean 2017 mm. or 2018? Big sound. We were like the Sydney boys, you know? So we went to each other's shows, like show support, fucking hung out and shit, and then that's how we became tight. So we done Big Sound. Next year, um, Trip One was booked to do fucking Falls Festival. Briggs was booked to do Falls, and I was his hype man, so we got to kick it a bit there. And then, yeah, it's, that's how we became it's tight. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, so we yeah. went from Big Sound to Falls Festival. It's, Hung because of Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Did you think that it was going to, like everything was going to turn out the way it has? Nah, nah. It's just. Like, Sydney. is it, is it, do you feel like it's been overwhelming or like you know how to handle all that? Because, like, you, you like, you protect yourself and you manifest it and then you're there and you're like, holy fuck, this is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Um, it is. It's, a bit it's like, like that? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, right. It went, yeah. As, yeah, as I said, went from the fucking the big sound to fall, yeah. and then it all became cemented. So the show that played tonight for Healing Festival was like the fucking, that's when we cemented our yeah. fucking bond. So me and Marty put on a, like, a bit of a hate a couple of years yeah. ago, and, and that's how we became top. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's the, that's the cushy one. That's how Big Horse was created. Yeah. You know, on a, um, on a side note, uh, you know you're Zora Beats? Yeah. Yes, yes. He was our first interview. Fuck. Um, yeah. So was like one of my main guys. Yeah. And um, uh, he told me he's like, "Yo, boys, yo, you know what's up? Like, I got a song with Nuki." Yeah, it's fucking yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was tossing up to play that one tonight. Uh, yeah, man. He said you pack all man, fucking. You would have shattered yourself if you played that. Right. The only reason why I haven't, why I didn't fucking play that one, is because I recorded it in a fucking dodgy little fucking. Right. But he sent me a pack, all fucking bangers, and I heard this one beat. Of course. I went in on it, Chunky put it on his fucking Instagram the other day, he leaked it like a little fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he's already hit me up, I was like, bro, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. So, fuck yeah. as soon as I fucking record that shit yeah. properly, fucking... Man, you're gonna get in the studio together. Yeah, I'm fucking down. Yeah, man. for real. I was fucking talking to Briggsy about it today. Yeah. So I sent the, the shit I played tonight, I sent to Briggs. Some yeah, yeah. Then, uh, I went to hear the other shit I got this dude fucking sent me this pack. Four fucking bangers. I'll rap on there's probably like fucking 80 beats in there, I'll rap on every yeah. single fucking one of them. What what's the whole process? Uh fuck for me it's different cuz I eh? sometimes like I know what I want to do and I need to find the beat. Other times it's the beat and spots. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, but just constant yeah. constantly fucking writing and shit, always writing down ideas. Lines, fucking whatnot, and then just putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Mm. Yeah. I think it's just like once once you catch a vibe, then the vibe kind of makes the song. Yeah, also, yeah. You're just like embodied in it. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like, I have the fucking problem with like my biggest problem is like I'm in the moment and I don't have a lot of gear, and I get that fucking feeling, and I do the shit. And then when I go to the studio to do it properly, like that emotion, that feeling, like you gotta try and recapture mm. it. Mm. So sometimes the shit recordings are the fucking best ones because that's in the moment, that's the yeah. fucking that's, that's so true. Feel. And, and that's that's why I tell people all the time I'm in the studio and it's like I'm an artist but just record the like the fucking mic all the yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. 
So whenever something happens, like you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 What's it's what's cool shit. your relationship with like label and how you feel other people that aren't you should go about with labels? Um, fuck, do your own thing until like just build your shit and then yeah, see what they bring to the table and see what you bring to the table and make the fucking best decision, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the labels are fucking it's a platform. And it's a fucking cosign, and they have avenues that you don't have. So the the independent route is mad. Like it might be more money for you, more fucking points for you, something you can say I've done on my own. Yeah. But labels have fucking roots that you don't have. Yeah. That sure. if you want to fucking say you want to fucking two chain picture, right? Label can make that happen. You want to get the fucking blue tick on Instagram? Label yeah. can make that happen. Yeah. So there's, there's pros and cons to fucking both of it. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of fucking smoke and mirrors too that can't say I'm independent, but they're working with a label behind the scenes. They might have started like a, a little label themselves, but it's funded by Sony, it's funded by fucking Universal yeah. or something, you know what I mean? So it's a lot yeah. of, yeah, much of well, it's, it's tricky, bro. It's tricky, yeah. for real. Um, so when did you get signed? I got signed fucking. 2014, 2015, something uh, like that. So was, was that like a big change for you? Like, do you feel like when you look back at life before, or before you are popping at least, like there's a big difference? Yeah, yeah, man, 100%. Like, it was the cosign and the fucking platform that Briggs gave us that was, mm. you know, like, kind of started to take it seriously. Um, like for us, the indigenous rappers like, didn't really fucking exist before that. Um, so yeah, it's still there. Yeah, like, you got the fucking, when when Brixie put you on, you got the hoods fucking coast yeah. on, you got this, you got that, like dudes went to work for it, you know, so yeah. It That's fucking helped me, it helped me a lot. And yeah. I learned from it, you know, like I learned the game. I love it. Briggsy showed me this shit, how to do it, how to navigate it, how to fucking yeah. manage it. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you think you changed from that to now? Just mature, man. <laughs> fucking realised a lot of things, like learned that you can't can't just do like one song and be like yeah, I'm ready. Like, you need to have a fucking plan, you need to have fucking backups, you need to, it needs to be set, you know? Mm. You can't yeah. just go in your blind and fucking think you're the man, like, you need to have a fucking plan and execute. Yeah, teams, yeah. teams are fucking a good one, have a nice strong team around you. Shit, like that. It's true. Hey, man, I don't want to hold you up too much. Oh, uh, uh, I just want to fuck all that. But, um, is there anything that you know, like there's people that watch you and like really look up to you and shit and what, what do you think you would say to them that are trying to be in your shoes? Fuck God. Yeah. Go to fucking like, take the time, don't rush into shit, just fucking do it and yeah. get strong. I love that. Mm. And is there any other releases on the way other than you Zora that you, you want to push? Oh man, that fucking New Zora one I want to go in ah. straight away. <laughs> Bro, that shit I'm like, I'm like, I do music videos. So you, like, you, you got like a series or something. Yes. Um, we'll do it, bro. Yeah. Like that shit's like, even that one, like that's not like, two weeks old. I just wanted to fucking play it because of some new shit. Yeah. And then, again, like I have a feeling about that one. Yeah, put, this is the main one. Yeah, I could have went up there and fucking done shit that I know, fucking back to front. Took a risk, yeah. played some shit. And yeah, like it, it was hard, but I fucking played off, you know what I mean? I love that. Yeah. Alright, well, this is Blood Juice. I'm going to go with it. Cheers. I'm going to go with it. Thanks. Man.